Okay, go, go. Christmas from the Chadwicks. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas from church. Oh. Stars are brightly shining. It is the night of our dear Savior's birth. Long lay the world in sin and never pining till he appeared. excited to spend a few minutes together and we actually wanted to spend some time as a family with you today so thanks girls for being with us and of course we have some fun family things ahead for us today but before we get into all of that 
we really wanted to center in on the incredible meaning mm -hmm. of this day. Whereas um, for all of time, God decided to break into the human story mm -hmm. in the person of Jesus. And he wanted to do that because he wanted to rescue and redeem and then restore mm -hmm. all that's been lost. And today there's an opportunity for all of us to do that individually, but also to celebrate what's happened for us cosmically yeah. on a universal level. And it's just a beautiful thing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take communion together. Um, I have the elements there, My our kiddos have the elements. And just wanna encourage you, just take 30 seconds right now and go running and grab something. It can be anything um, that we can celebrate this meal together. And then Stacy's gonna read um, the Christmas story. So it's a beautiful time to gather with your kids. And maybe you've opened presents, maybe you haven't. Maybe you've had your Christmas dinner already, maybe you haven't, I don't know. But wherever you're at in the Christmas festivities, this is a good anchoring point yeah. for all we're doing today and all we're doing uh, across this weekend to, to, to celebrate this. So let's let's do communion. Yeah. Did you have some thoughts? I just was help? thinking, you know, one of, one of the things I love about taking communion is it reminds me that I'm actually a part of this body of Christ. Yeah. And none of us are alone. Not only do we have now a relationship with God, but we've been brought into the family of God. Mm -hmm. And maybe you are in, you know, your room by yourself and this lockdown has been just a wild ride for all of us. As we take communion, we can remind ourselves that we're actually a part of this family of believers that has spanned generations and there's a huge cloud of witnesses in heaven cheering us on and you are part of a family of God that you belong in mm. and that God paid a very high price to bring you into that family. So I am praying for you, Ramp Church, that even as we take these elements, you will sense the nearness of God's presence, and you will sense just a wraparound hug from your faith family ramp church this morning. Oh, incredible. And I, I hope you've gotten some sort of bread and, and wine or juice or some sort of a drink. And I, I love that the thing that Jesus gave us to remember the infinite price that he paid for you and I is a meal. Mm -hmm. I just love that. It says so much about who God is and the way he wants to relate to us. Mm -hmm. um, he could have given us anything to remember, but he gave, uh, uh, he gave something that's a place of celebration. Mm -hmm. It's a thing of nourishment, mm -hmm. but it's also a place of relationship, of connection. And that's even what the Christmas dinner is so much about. Yes, it's about eating. Can't wait for some of that. But it's also about connection, isn't mm -hmm. it? It's, it's, a, that, it's that meal where together... We're on, we're on the same ground. Mm -hmm. And that's what's beautiful about the person of Jesus today is he came in, in human form so we could connect, mm -hmm. that we could relate to him. He wasn't distant, mm -hmm. a distant God of power, a distant being of infinite glory that we couldn't behold. Right. Jesus made that part of God's nature to tangible to us right. in human form. And today, we're going to take these elements today in remembrance of Jesus paying the ultimate price so that all of us, no matter how great, no matter how small, no matter how many failures, no, no, no matter how many successes, the way could be made for us to be in right relationship with God, for us to sit down at the table with God himself mm -hmm. and commune with him, relate to him today, and celebrate what Jesus did. So let's let's do that together. First, we're going to take the bread. And so kiddos, you have yours. And we're going to take this in remembrance of the broken body of Jesus. It was broken for, for my sins. It was broken for your sins, for our shortcomings, for our brokenness, for our failures, uh, for our sicknesses. Mm -hmm. And Jesus paid the ultimate price mm -hmm so that we could be restored, so that we could be redeemed, and all that is wrong could be made right. So let's eat this together in communion with each other, in communion with God. Amen. And now we're going to take the cup, which Jesus said represents his blood that was spilled. And the blood is the payment for our redemption. So the, the way that our sin and our brokenness created a chasm mm -hmm. between us and God, 
the blood of Jesus paid the price for us to draw near, Mm -hmm. for us to come near and to know him, not just know about him, but to relate to him, to speak with him, to know him and be in relationship and connection with him. So let's today, let's take the cup in remembrance of Jesus' sacrifice. So go ahead and drink, girls. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the body that was broken for us, the blood that was poured out for us to be cleansed of sin and brought into perfect relationship with you. And we turn our hearts heavenward right now in this moment. And we thank you, Lord Jesus, for making God near, for being God and revealing God to us. We give you glory and we enthrone you as the Lord of our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Well, I'm going to take a few minutes to read a kid's story. Now, some of you adults, I encourage you, if you're like me, you may actually love to hear this as well. So I love a good children's Bible story. And this one, Ramp Church, some of us have read this before together. This is one of my favorites. It's the Christmas Promise. So here we go. A long, long time ago, so long that it's hard to imagine, God promised a new king. He wasn't any ordinary king, like the ones that we see on TV or in books. He would be different. He would be a new king, a rescuing king, a forever king. And do you know what? One precious night, God kept his Christmas promise. Would you like to know what he did? The Christmas story starts with an angel. Whoosh! He came from God to see Mary. The angel had a special message. Mary, you're going to have a baby, and he will be a special baby. God's promises, God promises that your baby is going to be king. Not for a little time, but forever and ever. He will be the forever king. Mary was going to marry Joseph, so God sent another angel. Whoosh! He came to see Joseph. The angel had a special message. Mary is going to have a very special baby, the angel said to Joseph. Her baby is going to be king and will rescue his people. He will be a rescuing king. God had promised that the new king would be born in a little city called Bethlehem. And that's where Mary and Joseph went. But Bethlehem was very busy with lots and lots and lots of people. So when the baby was born, he had to sleep in a manger instead of a bed. All the other mangers in Bethlehem held food for hungry animals to to munch. But this manger held a tiny baby. And he was God's special new king. The shepherds in the fields had such a surprise. It was quiet and dark and the sheep were snoozing when whoosh, an angel popped into the sky. (laughs) Now the sky was bright and the shepherds were so, so scared, but the angel had a special message for them. Don't be afraid. I have wonderful good news for you, the angel said. God's chosen king has been born tonight. He is going to rescue his people just as God promised. He will be the rescuing king. Then lots and lots of other excited angels joined in to celebrate. And the shepherds were really excited. They went rushing to see the new king. And there he was, lying in a manger, just as the angel said. But they weren't the only ones who had heard the good news about the promised new king. Some wise men living far, far away had also been sent a message. It was quiet and dark, and they were watching the stars when, whoosh, a new star popped into the sky. (laughs) The star had a special message. The wise men knew what it meant. A very special king had been born, the king for all God's people. This child was the promised new king. The wise men were excited, so they went on a long journey to see the new king. And there he was, just as the star had shown them. Everything 
everything God promised came true. There are lots and lots of different kings in the world, but God sent the greatest king of all. He sent a new king, a rescuing king, a forever king. And do you know what this king's name is? His name is Jesus! <laughs> and that is the end of our Christmas story. Well, Merry Christmas, Ramp Church. You are loved. You are in our prayers, you are in our thoughts, and you are on the mind of God today. And we hope that you are celebrating this amazing good news that we have in our Lord Jesus. We love you.